as we have seen in our previous module that uh, the fermentation process and the capital cost involvement in fermentation is very much associated with the aeration and agitation. So, in this module we will talk about uh, the stoichiometric relationships of the carbon source and the need of the oxygen described by various scientists time to time. As consideration of the stoichiometric respiration, so then we can easily able to understand the need of the oxygen during the fermentation process. So, the number of workers have considered the overall stoichiometry of the conversion of oxygen and the source of the carbon and the source of the nitrogen into the conversion of uh, uh, these sources into the biomass and then their equations actually predict the relationship of the oxygen demand in a fermentation process. So, one by one we will see by different workers that how they express the oxygen demand and oxygen need in any fermentation process. You can see in this slide as reported by Darlington 1964. You can see the reference is Darlington 1964. He gave two equations by which the first one is 6.67 CH2O and then 2.1 mole of oxygen leads to produce C 3.92 H 6.5 and O is 1. So, that leads to 2.75 moles of carbon dioxide and 3.42 moles of water. So, in another case 7.14 of CH2 and then requires 6.135 of oxygen leads to the formation of the biomass and then 3.22 is the carbon dioxide and 3.89 mole of uh, water. So, you can see here that uh, in this equation that uh, C 3.92 H 6.5 oxygen 1.94 there is a small you can see at the round figure is 1. So, is about 100 gram of the dry weight of the yeast cell. So, here you can see that uh, the carbon source is CH2O and then CH2 in the second equation is the hydrocarbon. So, this these two equations are reported by Darlington in 1964 you can see easily the demand of the oxygen and the biomass produced and the and the organism is the Scaramyces cervicii which we called as yeast cells. So, you can see by these equations the requirement of the oxygen that how much moles are needed. So, as reported by the Johansson 1964, he gave the equation C is equal to A over Y minus B where the A is the amount of oxygen for the combustion of 1 gram of the substrate to carbon dioxide and water and ammonia. If the nitrogen is present in the substrate in case of that. So, the B is the amount of oxygen required for the combustion of 1 gram of the cells to carbon dioxide and water and then the same of uh, NH3 if that is lead to that. So, what is the difference between A and B? A is the oxygen just for the carbon source and the B is just that respire of the cells that how many cells are present. So, why is the cell yield that how much is the biomass will be produced and the C is the gram of oxygen consumed for the production of 1 gram of the cells. So, this equation is reported by the Johansson's in which you, he show the relationship of uh, 3 parameters. 
with respect to the oxygen requirement. So here you can see an equation reported by Rileto et al. 1968. According to them, they reported that uh, dx over dt, that change in cell mass over time divided by the yield, which you can see here that x is the biomass concentration, t is the time, and y is the gram biomass per gram of the carbon substrate utilized, plus mx, m is the maintenance, and p is uh, the allowance for the antibiotic production. So, this equation is basically the the fermentation process in which the antibiotic has to produce and ultimately dco2 over dt that is the change in carbon dioxide that is equal to the utilization of the oxygen in this process so you can see the sign that is the depletion with respect to the fermentation process and how it uh, lead in fermentation process so another equation that is reported by Kone 1979. You can see the equation of the Kone, y which we have a yield. So, here in this case that uh, y o over p is the oxygen in gram consumed for 1 gram of the glucose and y p over g. So, you can see here this one. So, that is the gram sodium pencil because the Kone in 1979 reported this equation while he is producing the pencil in G. So, X, capital X is the gram cell produced during the fermentation process. So, the P is the overall yield of the penicillin. So, you can see in this uh, equation that what is the relationship of uh, the different oxygen consumed and the penicillin in G produced and the cell mass produced during the fermentation process. So, here that is another equation that was reported by the Metallis 1971. You can see here the same kind of the equation as reported by the previous worker. So, Y naught is equal to 32 C plus 8 H minus 16 O divided by y over m minus 1.58. So, here you can see the different symbols which is uh, pointed out in this equation that uh, y naught is equal to the gram oxygen consumed per gram of the cell produced. So, the y is the cell yield, m is the molecular weight of the carbon source and CHO the number of atoms of the carbons. So, this is the equation that is reported by Metallis in 1971. So, these are the different uh, stoichiometric uh, equations and how they affect on fermentation. So, you can see in the Darlington and the Johansson equations as we have seen in our previous slides, the production of 100 gram of biomass from hydrocarbons require approximately 3 times more oxygen than the amount of the biomass is produced. So, the oxygen demand in fermentation process is how much critical.